In these demos, I'm going to show you how the smart door can become, become the central brain uh, of the smart home. So uh, in this setup, we can see uh, the smart duo here. It's plugged on the Arduino breadboard with uh, growth connectors. Uh, we have also uh, different uh, sensors and uh, different actuators. Uh, for actuators, it's simulated by, uh, by this LED. Um, for sensors, we have a touch sensor here. We have also a, a brightness uh, sensor we are going to use. Uh, we have a, a humidity sensor here. Uh, we have a temperature sensor here, and we have also a, a special feature, which is a, a kind of UPS. Uh, so it's uh, we have a, a lipo battery there, uh, which is plugged uh, on one side uh, on a booster charger here, uh, and we have also on the other side uh, the USB power. So the USB power uh, is able to to charge the battery, and um, also it uh, it gives the power uh, to to the system by uh, the, this uh, USB cable and if the main power is disconnected uh, the battery uh, gives the power uh, on its side. We have also there a sensor so that uh, the smart duo is able to uh, detect whether or not we, we have the, the main power and then give the, the power to, to the system. Uh, we have also uh, another special feature uh, this uh, iBeacon so it's a Bluetooth low energy uh, system uh, which uh, advertises itself uh, by giving uh, its address. And we have there plugged um, BLE dongle uh, on the system. Uh, so we will see that uh, on, uh, on our demo, um, the smart duo is able to uh, look for uh, the iBeacon. Uh, when the iBeacon is present, uh, the automation scripts uh, can run, and when the iBeacon is not present, uh, the, to the automation script uh, cannot run. So it's uh, it's a more advanced uh, presence detection than what we can have uh, with a PRI sensor, for example, because when we have a PRI sensor, we can just know that uh, people is coming, or maybe it can be the, the, the cat or dog. Uh, with an iBeacon, if the iBeacon is, uh, is held by the by the right person, we can uh, both detect the presence of the person and we can also uh, identify the, the person. And finally, we have, uh, we, you will uh, see it in the next demo, we have a LifeX bulb, uh, which is uh, connected by, uh, by Wi-Fi also on the same uh, one uh, network. And uh, so in the demo, you will see that uh, uh, this smart duo is a very uh, powerful system because it is able to uh, interact with the uh, sensors and actuators through uh, its uh, integrated microcontroller. It is able also to interact uh, with Bluetooth with some external uh, peripherals. Uh, it's also able to interact with Wi-Fi, uh, so with the LifeX bulbs. And we, we will see also that uh, it can uh, access uh, external uh, API uh, for face recognitions, for example. We have now started the system and the script, and we can see different things. Uh, first, we can see that uh, in the system, uh, it starts uh, the BLE, so the Bluetooth Low Energy. We have installed the Bluezy uh, stack. Uh, so uh, the script looked for uh, iBeacons. Uh, it finds uh, the, the iBeacon we are using in the demo. So since the iBeacon is present, the automation script is allowed to, to execute. After, it's, uh, the script is looking for LifeX bulbs. Uh, it makes a bulb, uh, it uh, switches on the, the bulb, and after it, uh, it starts a uh, tornado. Uh, we will see uh, in, in the demo that uh, in our uh, system we have uh, different uh, possibility to connect to, uh, to other uh, system, either uh, local or remote, and we have installed in our Python script uh, tornado, so we, uh, we are able to communicate through web sockets uh, with tornado, and also we communicate uh, through uh, MQTT with a remote broker. And we have also in our Python script, the, the main thread. And in this thread, we, uh, make, we, we make the main task. For example, we uh, interact with the microcontroller on the smart drone.
In this demo, we're going to use the software MyViz, which is very useful for uh, creating dashboards for visualization and control. We're on the same network between the computer and the, and the system. Uh, so we can see that uh, when we switch off and li uh, on, on the LifeX bulb, uh, of course it works. Uh, you can see also that when the brightness is uh, decreased, uh, the bulb is uh, switched on uh, automatically. So we can uh, show it again. Uh, after we will see uh, what happens when we uh, disconnect the main power. So when we disconnect the, the main power, uh, we send uh, an alarm through IE50. So uh, still with the smart duo through uh, the, the Wi-Fi connection. Uh, and we plugged uh, it again, so uh, now it's it's okay. Uh, we can also interact with uh, various sensors uh, on the system. For example, when you touch the sensor, we have the information uh, on the on the dashboard. We can also install MyVis directly uh, on the Smart Duo on, on its web server. So it's what you can see there. We are connected directly uh, to the Linkit. And we are running, uh, again, uh, uh, the MyVis dashboard. So in this case, we communicate between uh, the computer, which is on the same LAN, and, uh, and the Linkit through uh, WebSockets. Uh, so we are connected directly to, uh, to the system. And we have the same kind of interaction possible, so uh, you can see uh, here I am uh, hiding the brightness sensor, and also uh, now I release my uh, my hand, and uh, I can also uh, increase uh, artificially the the temperature. So uh, it's very easy to uh, set up the system when the user is uh, in uh, its house. Uh, he can also uh, connect directly to uh, to the system to. Uh, to make the setup to uh, and to store uh, the different uh, brightness hysteresis, for example, or to can also switch uh, uh, the LED or not. Another possibility is to install the MyVis software on a web server outside uh, on the internet and connect to it. Uh, it is what you can see here in the address. It's uh, an, an, uh, the address of, uh, of a remote web server. Uh, but through uh, MQTT, you can see uh, the, uh, the address of the MQTT uh, server I'm using. So through MQTT, it's still possible to get information uh, from the system and also to interact uh, with, the, with the system. Uh, so here, is the, the graphs are not uh, strictly real-time, more, more, more precisely, we have a, a latency uh, of, uh, of one second. Uh, it is what you, you can see when I hide the brightness sensor. Um, but however, uh, it's still possible to, to get data. And the only reason why uh, it's only one second uh, sampling time is for limiting uh, uh, data through the, the network. And uh, in this uh, example, it's uh, still possible so remotely to interact with the system. And uh, for example, I can uh, switch on a LED on, uh, on my system or switch off. So it can be uh, in the real scenario, it can be the, the heading or whatever you can uh, imagine. And also uh, remotely, you are, you are able to uh, modify the, <coughs> the brightness, uh, hysteresis, uh, min or max for, uh, for the LifeX bulb. So we, you are able to interact uh, totally with the system, uh, even when you are uh, at your uh, at your work, for example. So uh, even if you are at a thousand kilometers from the Linkit smart row, you are able to modify its uh, properties. It's even possible to uh, interact with the smartphone uh, application. So what you can see there is uh, uh, the smartphone application running here. Uh, so when I uh, hide the brightness uh, sensor there, you can see uh, on the on the plot 
but the brightness uh, is uh, is modified. And now I'm going to uh, switch on the LED. So the LED uh, is uh, switched on, uh, and I switch off it. Um, so in this case, we are again uh, through the MQTT connection. Uh, it means that you are able with this smartphone application to uh, interact and modify the state of the system uh, remotely, uh, even very, very far off uh, from your house. Finally, a demo of uh, face recognition. So first we start uh, MGPG streamer, uh, and then we are going to start our, our Python script, uh, and then uh, we are going to see how it works in MyVis for uh, face recognition and uh, user identification. Now in MyVis, I take a snapshot. So a call to Animetrics API for face detection and then for face recognition, and then I'm, I am uh, identified by uh, the system.